Hello, and welcome to the January installment of Construction Junction presented to you by MSU Infrastructure Planning and Facilities. If you have any comments or questions concerning this presentation, or have suggestions on how we might improve, please let us know via the feedback box on the Construction Junction webpage located at the address on the screen. The agenda for the January presentation will begin with updates on which projects are going to the next two Board of Trustees meetings. There will then be information on the campus snow plan. We will then have several new project presentations, and lastly, we will have updates on various ongoing projects. Beginning with the February BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will be, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, Dairy Research Complex Electrical Distribution, Campus Water System Improvements, Service Road Field Building Construction, Demonstration Hall Multi-Use Court Floor Alterations, IM Sports West Indoor Turf Surface Replacement, IM Sports East Renovations, Replacement of Windows in the Biochemistry Building, and Alumni Chapel Columbarium. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Communication Arts and Sciences Roof Replacement. Moving on to the April BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will include, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, all Seasons Rink, Construct Original Building, Veterinary Medical Center, Replace HVACs 1 and 21, Science Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, Construct Original Building, and Food Science, Fruit and Vegetable Laboratory Renovation. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Olin Health Center, Student Health. We begin this month's presentation with an overview of the campus snow plan. We all know that Michigan winters can be unpredictable, and so when conditions warrant, we ask that you practice good snow safety by giving yourself extra time to travel to work, driving carefully, dressing warmly, wearing sensible shoes with good traction, being extra aware of where you are walking and the condition of your path, shortening the length of your stride, and remembering to check the forecast before heading outside. For your safety, please remember to not dart in front of or behind snow removal equipment. It is large, loud, and difficult to stop quickly. And please make eye contact with snow removal equipment operators before crossing in front of them. The university uses a combination of brine and ice melt compound to combat icy conditions. Brine works by preventing adhesion of snow to hard surfaces, while ice melt is good on ice that is already formed. Often both are used in combination to speed the time it takes for the melting compound to take effect. If you see any icy spots on campus, please report them by calling contact MSU at 355-1855. Please remember that it does take time for ice melt compound to take effect. We ask that the campus community partner with IPF crews to help ensure everyone's safety by applying ice melt compound to areas outside of building entrances if they see slick spots. This helps avoid incidents until our crews have had a chance to clear the area. There are marked buckets of ice melt compound available at all entrances for this purpose. However, we also ask that you please be judicious with your use of ice melt in order to minimize the environmental impacts. Please do not park so close to sidewalks that your vehicle's bumper hangs over it. This makes clearing the sidewalk with our motorized equipment impossible. We also ask that you avoid parking in sections of lots that have not yet been cleared, either parking in already cleared areas or waiting for our crews to finish clearing before parking. We remind everyone that parking is prohibited in residence hall loops from 2 to 6 a.m. Our crews have a formidable task ahead of them after a snow event, and keeping these areas free from vehicles helps removal efforts go more smoothly and quickly. Again, if you see icy or dangerous spots on campus, please report them to contact MSU at 355-1855. For more information about MSU snow removal plans, visit ipf.msu.edu. There you can find information on snow and ice removal services, as well as our environmentally green efforts. We thank you for helping us keep MSU safe during the upcoming winter season. We begin the new project presentations with a project to extend Wilson Road. This project is located in the East Residential District. This project is necessary, as there is currently only one intersection connecting campus with Hagdorn Road, north of Service Road. This situation creates added vehicular traffic through a busy pedestrian and bicycling area. The current intersection also creates traffic complications and it is not fully coordinated with the existing railroad crossing. 
Also, the lack of traffic signals along Shaw Lane, east of Farm Lane, creates some accessibility concerns. And the condition of Fee and Wilson Roads, along with the adjacent parking lots, are in poor condition and require replacement. The scope of the project will include reconfiguration and reconstruction of Wilson Road, Fee Road, and parking lots 30 and 32. Installation of a new traffic light intersection at Hagedorn Road, which will be integrated with nearby railroad signals. A new traffic light at the intersection of Shaw Lane and the current Wilson Road. Improved water distribution in the region. Safety improvements for vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists. And improved ADA crossings and compliance. Impacts to the campus community will include updating of campus addresses for affected buildings, lots, tennis courts, and a bus stop. Temporary reduction in parking availability during construction. All closures will be phased and employee parking will be made available in nearby lot 100. Tree removal in preparation for construction began in December with construction commencement planned for March and planned completion by October. Here's an aerial view of the site as it currently exists, a view of current street parking, and an example of existing stairs that will be eliminated to improve accessibility. The proposed site plan shows the extension of Wilson Road along with the new intersection at Hagedorn Road. And another graphic showing specific road and parking areas affected by construction. And a graphic of the planned new lighted intersection at Shaw Lane. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you'll find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the Wilson Road Extension project can be directed to the design representative, Dave Wilbur. Next is the project to create an artificial turf field at the Service Road field site. The site is located off Service Road in the South Academic District. In December of 2016, the Board of Trustees authorized planning on the Healthy Campus Initiative to develop a broad-based approach to providing enhanced recreation and fitness opportunities. This planning effort identified a range of options that utilize the campus, both indoors and outdoors, in traditional and non-traditional ways. The scope of the project includes construction of a synthetic turf field complex that accommodates two soccer, lacrosse, regulation size fields, or four multi-purpose IM sports fields, construction of a service building with restrooms, medical treatment room, storage room for equipment, offices for IM event staff, and a canopy for inclement weather, installation of a field netting system, installation of LED field lights, four LED scoreboards, and LED pedestrian lights, construction of accessible sidewalks and bleachers, installation of a complex-wide Wi-Fi system, and installation of perimeter site fencing, campus security systems, and supporting utilities. Construction is planned to begin in February with expected completion by August 17th. Here is an aerial view of the site as it currently exists, and a graphic of the new field site plan. Here you see an aerial view artist rendering of the proposed site and a rendering of the site after dark. Here is a floor plan for the service building to be constructed at the site, and some additional street level renderings of the site. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Service Road Field Project can be directed to the project representative, Trussell Wall. Next is the project to update the multi-use court floor in Demonstration Hall. Demonstration Hall is located in the Athletic and Recreation District. This project is part of the Healthy Campus Initiative to encourage and promote campus involvement and health. The goals of the project are to create and support a university-wide culture of health and wellness, create a range of options that utilize the campus, both indoors and outdoors, in traditional and non-traditional ways, support opportunities to increase movement, recreation, and fitness for MSU faculty, staff, and students, develop a broad-based approach to providing enhanced recreation and fitness opportunities, and build a healthier campus community by encouraging and maximizing collaboration among university groups and organizations that promote health and wellness. The scope of the project is to update the arena for adaptive sports, club sports, intramural sports, student use, and other campus activities, which will include removal, 
leveling, and replacement of the existing arena flooring and dashboard system with new arena floor to support adaptive sports, rollerblading, soccer, ROTC, and other programs. Installation of new dashboards and a netting system. Installation of ceiling circulation fans. Installation of LED lighting in the arena, including emergency lighting. Painting of room walls and ceilings as required. Removal and abatement of ACM floor tile and miscellaneous mechanical piping. Upgrading of east restrooms, men and women's, to current codes. And miscellaneous architectural, mechanical, and electrical items. Impacts to the campus community will include staging of construction at the southeast side of the building, which should have minimal impact on vehicles, parking, pedestrians, bicyclists, and those needing barrier-free access to the facility. Staging of construction will be fully coordinated with MSU police. Construction is scheduled to begin in May, with expected completion by August 17th. Here you see the existing floor plan, and the floor plan showing the proposed renovations a photo of the current site conditions, and an artist's rendering of the proposed renovated areas. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the demonstration hall project can be directed to the project representative, Scott Gardner. Next is the project to replace the indoor turf surface in room 161 of IM Sports West. IM Sports West is located in the Athletic and Recreation District. This project is part of the Healthy Campus Initiative to encourage and promote campus involvement and health. The goals of the project are to create and support a university-wide culture of health and wellness, to create a range of options that utilize the campus, both indoors and outdoors, in traditional and non-traditional ways, support opportunities to increase movement, recreation, and fitness for MSU faculty, staff, and students, develop a broad-based approach to providing enhanced recreation and fitness opportunities, and build a healthier campus community by encouraging and maximizing collaboration among university groups and organizations that promote health and wellness. The scope of the project is to convert room 161 into an indoor artificial turf center for club sports, intramural sports, student use, and other campus activities, which will include the removal and abatement of the existing AstroTurf flooring system and installation of a new artificial turf flooring system, replacement of existing doors and installation of nine additional egress doors to accommodate campus and emergency operations to code, installation of ceiling circulation fans, fire suppression system, and upgrade of existing HVAC units to code, installation of a lacrosse practice throwing wall and netting system, installation of a motorized roll-up curtain wall in the middle of the room, installation of an LED lighting system including the emergency lighting, painting of walls and ceiling, and miscellaneous architectural, mechanical, and electrical items. Impacts to the campus community will include staging of construction at the northeast side of the building, which should have minimal impact on vehicles, parking, pedestrians, bicyclists, and those needing barrier-free access to the facility. Staging of construction will be fully coordinated with MSU police. Construction is scheduled to begin in March, with expected completion by August 17th. Here you see the existing floor plan, and the floor plan showing the proposed renovations, a photo of current site conditions, and some artist's renderings of the proposed renovated areas. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the IM Sports West renovation project can be directed to the project representative, Scott Gardner. Next is the project to renovate the indoor track at IM Sports East. IM Sports East is located in the Eastern Residential District. This project is part of the Healthy Campus Initiative to encourage and promote campus involvement and health. The goals of the project are to create and support a university-wide culture of health and wellness, create a range of options that utilize campus, both indoors and outdoors, in traditional and non-traditional ways, support opportunities to increase movement, recreation, and fitness for MSU faculty, staff, and students, develop a broad-based approach to providing enhanced recreation and fitness opportunities, and build a healthier campus community by encouraging and maximizing collaboration among university groups and organizations that promote health and wellness. The scope of the project is to renovate the track and gymnasium to be more inviting for activities. This will include the removal of interior running track wall and installation of a handrail system to open the track area to the below gymnasium. 
replacement of the existing track running surface, removal of the block wall separating the two gymnasiums, and installation of a motorized roll-up curtain wall, installation of LED lighting system including emergency lighting, painting of the gymnasium walls up to the roof deck and the track running structure, patching of the gymnasium flooring and reinstallation of the basketball backboard structural supports, tinting of the existing exterior windows around the running track, and miscellaneous architectural, mechanical, and electrical items. Impacts to the campus community will include staging of construction at the southeast side of the building, which should have minimal impact on vehicles, parking, pedestrians, bicyclists, and those needing barrier-free access to the facility. However, the staging will require the closure of the sidewalk along the east side of the Wharton Center parking ramp with a pedestrian detour in place. Staging of construction will be fully coordinated with MSU Police. Construction is scheduled to begin in May with expected completion by August 17th. Here you see the existing first floor plan and the floor plan showing the proposed renovations, a rendering of current site conditions, and some artist renderings of the proposed first floor renovated area. Here you see the existing second floor plan and the floor plan showing the proposed renovations, a rendering of the current track conditions, and some renderings of the proposed second floor renovated areas. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the IM Sports East renovation project can be directed to the project representative, Scott Gardner. Next is the project to construct an isotope harvesting experimental vault and high rigidity spectrometer at the facility for rare isotope beams. The FRIB is located in the Central Academic District. This project is necessary to house research equipment beyond the original FRIB scope and to bolster MSU's nuclear science research program by expanding the facility's discovery potential and enabling isotope harvesting. The goals of the project are to construct an experimental vault that will house equipment for isotope harvesting, providing experimental space for the FRIB science program, increased FRIB scientists' ability to discover rare isotopes by a factor of 10, and construct a detector that will be well matched to the FRIB's capabilities. The scope of the project will include an experimental vault that will provide approximately 31,000 gross square feet of new space bound almost completely by other FRIB elements, featuring an experimental vault for HRS, isotope harvesting laboratory, truck bay, and a 50-ton overhead crane. The space will be divided into a depressed experimental vault and a two-level infill providing space for mechanical and electrical systems with circulation around the vault. A new steam PRV station will be provided with high-pressure steam fed from FRIB, and a new HRS chilled water system will be provided to service the required processed water system and required airside cooling for the vault. Construction is planned to begin in March, with anticipated completion by August of 2019. Here is the current site floor plan showing the existing steel building which will be demolished and the floor plan showing the new HRS high bay and experimental vault. Here's a rendering of the entire facility showing the location of the new addition. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the FRIB HRS and experimental vault project can be directed to the project representative, Todd Elkin. Next is the project to construct a cryogenic assembly building at the Facility for Rare Isotope Beans. The FRIB is located in the Central Academic District. This project is necessary for cryogenic device research including development, assembly, testing, and repair of FRIB beamline magnets and superconducting radio frequency cryo modules. The goals of the project are to allow for the assembly, testing, and repair of cryo modules and beamline magnets to locate the addition adjacent to the existing SRF high bay with cryo plant for 4 Kelvin liquid helium and other utilities needed to facilitate cryogenic device construction, maintenance, and repair, and to provide an area accessible to trucks. The current space used will become an experimental area for user operation. The scope of the project will include creation of an addition encompassing roughly 14,400 gross square feet, including a mezzanine floor, 
a 50-ton crane, and two exterior overhead doors. The building will be used to test and cool magnets utilizing helium test doers, low conductivity cooling water, 200 kilowatt power for superconducting magnet testing, and a structural slab capable of supporting 1,100 ton magnets. Construction is planned to begin in March with anticipated completion by July of 2019. Here's the current site floor plan and the floor plan showing the new cryogenics addition. Here's a rendering of the entire facility showing the location of the new addition. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the FRIB Cryogenic Assembly Building Project can be directed to the project representative, Jessica Culp. We now begin our construction updates with the Interdisciplinary Science and Technology Building Construction Project. This project is located in the South Academic District in the former location of Parking Lot 90. Accomplishments during the month of December included the completion of steel erection and the pouring of the concrete floors. Impacts to the campus community during January will include continued heavy construction traffic on Service Road. Here you see the spraying of fire protection coating in progress, the start of construction on the exterior masonry walls, the installation of ductwork, the installation of the exterior buck hoist, and the beginning of installation of electrical and plumbing rough-ins. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the ISTB project can be directed to the construction representative, Carol Cool. Next, we have an update on the Business College Complex Edition. The Business College Complex is located in the Central Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of December included the commencement of steel erection. Impacts to the campus community during January will include the continued closure of the sidewalks traveling north and south between Shaw Hall and the Business College Complex. Here you see some different views of the steel erection that has been accomplished for the structure's three floors and penthouse. Here's the site logistics plan showing areas of construction and pedestrian and traffic impacts. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Business College Complex Edition can be directed to the construction representative, Tony Rhodes. Next, we have an update on the Food Processing Innovation Center project. This project is located off campus on Hewlett Road. Accomplishments during the month of December included the enclosure of the facility, the completion of interior drywall and painting, and the commencement of finishing work. There are no additional impacts expected in January. Here is a shot of one of the completed interior spaces, a view of the north training room, and a view of the food prep room. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Food Processing Innovation Center project can be directed to the construction representative, Tony Rhodes. Next, we have an update on the Solar Carport project. This project involves several parking lots throughout South Campus. This project is now substantially complete. All lots will undergo minimal landscape restoration activities once spring arrives. All lighting installations are complete and the power plant has been receiving energy from all lots as of December 21st. Despite winter weather conditions, we have received over seven of the forecasted 10 megawatts of power on certain sunny days. There are no further major impacts expected. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the solar carport project can be directed to the construction representative, Chris Barnes. Lastly, we have an update on the project to add an addition to the Engineering Research Complex. The Engineering Research Complex is located in the South Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of December included the installation of the overhead crane, the installation of components making the building weather tight, the completion of insulation installation, and the commencement of mechanical and electrical piping installation. Impacts to the campus community during January will include continued construction traffic along the east side of the building. Here is a view of the installed overhead crane, the new garage door, the mechanical and electrical piping installation, 
drywall installation, and installation of insulating materials. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Engineering Research Complex Edition can be directed to the construction representative, Ken Gottschalk. This concludes the January Construction Junction presentation. We encourage you to visit the Infrastructure Planning and Facilities website at www.ipf.msu.edu. There you will find information on construction and maintenance alerts, detour information, construction junction information, project, and contact information. There are also a number of other IPF resources available, including listservs that you can subscribe to to keep up to date with various IPF projects and events. Stay connected with IPF via social media. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Watch our videos on YouTube. And follow us on Instagram. Construction Junction presentations will be made available on the CJ website around the 7th of each month. We thank you for taking the time to check us out, and we hope you'll visit again.